A barbecue. I thought we'd do it at the pool. Is the menu still the same? Well, how about if we did some chicken and barbecued the corn the way you do it and a fruit salad? Oh, and let's have plenty of non-alcoholic beers with the rest of the cold drinks. Mrs. Forrester, leave everything to me. All right. I'd like to make it something um, summery, you know, and festive. And maybe we should do some flower arrangements down by the pool. I'd like it to really be as wonderful an evening as we've ever had. Someone special is coming, see? Mm, someone special's coming. Mrs. Forrester, I am so happy for you. <laughs> we'll make it an evening to remember. Thank you, Maria. It's entirely in your hands. Buenos dias, señorita. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, Maria. Bueno, bueno. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi. What's with Maria? Oh, she's just excited about the party. So am I. Oh, I guess so. You haven't stopped talking about it for days. I wish it was something special for you, too. Well, so do I. You gonna bring someone? Yes. Who? Don't worry, it isn't Zach. I don't have anything against him. I know you don't. Zach has managed to alienate everyone pretty much on his own. Has he alienated you? <sighs> Last night, we were sitting on the beach having this incredibly romantic talk. And I felt so close to him. And then I excused myself for a minute, and when I came back, he was gone. Just like that? Yeah, I mean, it was just like he disappeared. He abandoned me. I mean, without even an explanation. It made me feel like everything that he had said to me meant nothing. Alicia, I think maybe you should stop seeing this fellow. I'm in love with him, Mother. You hardly know him. I've been seeing him for two months. But you don't know anything about him. Listen, I know Mother, you're not... please. I could say the same thing about you and Jack Hamilton. Now, you've known him as long as I've known Zach. And how well do you really know him? Sally, it's not too late. Oh, tell that to the press. These vultures have already got us dead and buried. They're reacting to rumors, that's all. You mean the rumor that we haven't got a holiday and cruise line for next season? Unfortunately, mister, those aren't rumors. That's the awful truth. We will have a holiday line, and we will have a cruise line. We will, huh? Yes. And who is going to design it? No, not Clark Garrison. I will not have that man back here again, not ever. Sally, please, look at no, it objectively. No, Jack, no, I said no. Now, I would rather see this company go bankrupt than to hire Clark back here again, and that's final. Sleep well? Well, I've had better nights. Oh. Does that mean you're ready to move in with me? You get your life together, and I'll be a permanent fixture around here. Well, I'm working on it. Let's see what's in the want ads. Right. Like you'd take a job from the want ads. Sweetie, there's hmm? something I'd like us to do tonight. What's that? Mother's having a dinner party. And you want us to go together to one of Stephanie's shindigs? Well, we have to come out of the closet sometime. No. No, absolutely not. I couldn't possibly... What is it? Oh, my God. No. Yes, if you could have him call me at the lab right away, as soon as he gets in, that would be great. OK. Thanks, Trish. You looking for me? You want some coffee? You have coffee in here? 
I can only imagine what it must taste like. My coffee's the best, and you should know that better than anybody. So what do you want to see me about? My proposal? Have you given it any thought? I always give thought to your proposals. Well, I held up with my end of it. I moved back into the condo. You know, you would have been a great politician. Of course you moved back into the condo. Your son lives there. You're pregnant. Where else are you going to live? Careful. I could easily move out. You might as well if you keep treating Dad the way you've been treating him. He has unrealistic expectations. I think you'd be able to relate to that. My expectations are not unreal. Oh, come on, Logan. They're based on the hypothesis that this child you're carrying is mine, and it might not be. They're not based on that. No? What are they based on? The simple truth that you and I still love each other. You've never been able to deny that, Ridge, and you still can't. That's why I will never stop pursuing you. Logan, it takes more than love. When are you going to realize that? Never. I hope to God, never. She's letting the company go belly up. What the hell is wrong with her? It's Sally's company. No, it isn't. It's mine. I built it. And she's letting it go down the tubes. I'm sure she's not doing that on purpose. Oh, yes, she is. If she wanted to save it, she'd hire me back. <sighs> Look at this. Cruise wear, my best work ever. And this should be going down a runway with a Garrison Originals label on it. And it would be if that crazy woman would just swallow her pride Look, and give me a call. I don't want to hear about this. I'm sorry. I just want to know, are you or aren't you going to Mother's party with me? Chris, give me one hour. An hour? Mm-hmm. There's someone I need to see. Who? I'll call you when I get back. Clark. Jack, you don't understand. I do understand, Sally. No. If you did, you wouldn't insist that I hire Clark back. You would know why I can't. I know why you think you can't. He hurt you. He hurt you worse than you've ever been hurt. But you still expect me to offer him a job. No, I expect you to stop letting him destroy you. I have stopped. No, you haven't. He's destroying you right now. He is the one key that can keep this company afloat. And he knows it. He's probably gloating right now about your misfortune while we stand here and talk about it. What? Then what are you suggesting? You call him. You hire him. You let his own ego get the best of him. You use him like he used you. You use him to save your company. Yeah, Donna. What? He's waiting to see me? No. No, don't do anything. Not yet. What is it? Clark's here. He just got off the elevator. How well I know Jack Hamilton isn't the issue. Of course it is. The point is, you don't know him. Just like I don't know Zach. But you're attracted to him, and you know in your heart that there's potential for the two of you. Now, isn't that true, Mother? Yes. Well, it's true for me, too. So, what do we do? We have two mysterious men in our lives. I don't think you can compare Jack Hamilton and Zack. Why not? Well, there's nothing mysterious about Jack. So he's told you everything there is to know about himself? I haven't asked about everything. And he hasn't held back on you? Not the way I get the feeling Zack is with you. Look, honey, I want this to work out for you. I want it to work out for you with whomever it is that you you choose to fall in love with. I want that more than I want something for myself. Oh, I don't say that. Oh, it's true. Now, come on, you'll understand this when you have children of your own. Children are very important to you. I don't know. Sometimes I think you don't worry about the boys as much. You think the boys will survive. And as, as liberal as I think I am, I really worry about you. 
I have to be very honest. I don't have good feelings about Zach. Well, if it's any consolation, I'm not going to be with Zach tonight. I'm going to be with a friend, Sly. Good. So, who else is coming to this party? Oh, well, uh, your two brothers and Taylor. And, and you know, uh, Bill Spencer is bringing his daughter. Karen's coming? Mm-hmm. I'm glad Macy's out of town. Uh, what about uh, Dad and Brooke? Oh, well, I did invite your father. I just hope uh, the woman he's married to has the good taste to stay at home. We're straying from the topic. Deliberately, I might add. All I'm asking is for you to keep an open mind until the baby's born so that we can establish paternity. And in exchange, I agree to continue living with your father. What do you mean exactly by an open mind? I'm not trying to trap you if that's what you're worried about. Is that what you're worried about? No. Ridge, I'm not going to force you to take responsibility of this child if it's yours. I'm not going to hold it over your head like some wrecking ball. And I'm certainly not going to threaten your precious marriage with Taylor. The choice is yours. Yours. If you want to turn your back on me and the baby, then that's OK. I'm certainly not going to say anything to make you stop Logan, what is it? What's wrong? <sighs> nothing, nothing. It's just my baby moved. It's moving again. You want to feel it? Come in. Hello, Sally. Needless to say, I find this visit coming as somewhat of a surprise. Then again, maybe it shouldn't. Why should it? We do have a son. Oh, I see. You've come about Clark Jr. We never settled on visitation rights. You never even asked about visitation rights. Well, maybe I'm asking now. Yeah, and maybe you're not. Come on. You don't give a damn about that boy, and we both know it. You are here to get your job. Back. My job? Come on, yeah, give me a Yeah, your job. Yes, your job. You've been reading all about it in the newspaper, how Spectre Garrison may be taking a dive into bankruptcy. We are about to go down for the third time, right? We're going to be gone. And if we're gone, then you're gone. And right along with it is your reputation, your one claim to fame and fortune, all of it gone. I'll tell you something. To watch you sink might be well worth the price of watching Spectre Garrison go down. Well worth the price. You're bluffing. Maybe I am and maybe I'm not. Unfortunately for you, you're in the same boat along with me one way or the other. You won't let Spectre go bankrupt. Oh, I put in my time, Clark. Maybe I'm ready to retire. Never let this place go down. You lived for this company. No. No, Clark, I lived for you. Remember? And that's why I can take a certain amount of human pleasure in dismembering Spectra Garrison right before your eyes. To watch you squirm a little bit. To make you suffer the way you made me suffer. To watch you writhe in agony. Now, why don't you just get out of here? You're wasting your time and mine. All right, Sally, granted, our marriage was a disaster, but our business relationship was second to none. We were a magnificent team. With my talent, your brains, and chutzpah, we had it all, Sally, and you know it. It could never be that way again. Oh, it sure could. Sally, 
You should see the collection I designed for the holidays. It dazzles. It's the best work I've ever done. You could put us on top in six months. You give me a six-month contract. If we don't outsell Forrester Creations, I'll quit. Well, I have to admit, it's an interesting proposition. You should take the deal. You won't regret it. Six months, you said? All right, Doc. Maybe I'll give you that chance. Good. And of course, when we're on top in six months, we'll be full partners again. 50 50. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop the car. You and I are never going to be partners again. I don't care if you turn this into the best design house in the entire world. I could never trust you with as much as 1% of this company. No. You come back, you come back as an employee. And an employee who has less seniority than Saul or Dala or anybody else around here who stayed loyal to me. Forget it. Fine. Beat it. Sally. I said beat it, Clark. Get out of here. Get out of here, Clark. Get out of my building! Jack Hamilton. Hello. Stephanie, hi. I was wondering if you could come to the house a little earlier this evening. Well, sure. Do you need me to bring something? No. Well, I was here, and I was thinking about you, and I'd like to see you. That's a very good reason. I'll be there before six. Good. Bye. I want you to feel our baby. Morgan. Rich, it's not going to bite. Look, at worst, it's your half-brother. Come on, feel it. It's moving right now. Yeah. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah, Logan. It's pretty neat. Oops. <laughs> I moved again. He is your baby. 